Okay, I want to make a brief tutorial on how to use the world method called get objects at. So I am going to make a quick little um, I'm going to make a quick little tic tac toe game, and I'd like you to make a tic tac toe game with me. Okay. So um, for my, I'm going to make a new actor, um, and my new actor is going to be. Um, a board piece. So I mean, my tic-tac-toe is actually just going to be a three-by-three three board. So um, with paint, uh, I'm, I'm just going to make, uh, I'll resize this to pixels, and I'm going to do 100 by 100. Okay, and uh, I am going to, you know, I could try and make it like the perfect-looking tic-tac-toe board, but instead we're just going to have a series of these boxes, okay? So I've got that, and I'm going to say File, Save As. And I'm just going to put that in my pictures, and I am going to call that Blank Tick. All right. Blank Tick. All right, now that i got that, I'm going to add a, um, I'm going to add a X. And I know this is crude, but I'm just going through this quickly. And I'll say File, Save As. And that was, last one was blank tick. This is X tick. And I'll take off that X and I am going to do a nice green O. Oh, that's kind of gruesome, right? All right, there we go. And I will say file save as. And that's uh, O tick. All right. So now we've got all the actors that we need. Okay. And, um... So I'll close that, and I will make a new subclass, and this will be called uh, board piece. And I will import from my library. Blank tick. So I've got a blank tick there. That sounds good. And I'm going to construct my world by simply... Uh, doing a quick little loop here. So, um, all right, so my tic tac toe board, I want it to be, uh, uh, see here, three by three, and each size will be 100. Now, we've been using uh, static constants which are good, but I'm just going to say 3, 3, 100 for now because I'm just doing a quick little demonstration. All right, and then after that, I'm going to say make the board. So that's a little method I'm going to write that allows me to uh, handle nice and neatly the construction of my board. So I'm going to say uh, public void make board. And so to make the board, I'm just going to say for int x equals 0, x less than 3. And I know I'm using magic numbers here, but this is okay for now. y equals 0, y less than 3. So x and y are going to loop through the whole thing, okay? And I'm just going to simply uh, add an object. I'm going to add a new board piece at that XY location. All right, and now we've got a tic-tac-toe board. Okay? All right, uh, I'm going to go into the board piece class, and I am simply, well, I need to go back to the world. Let's make a, a variable to switch turns, okay? So I'm going to say private boolean. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess X goes first usually, right? X turn. Now in my constructor, I'm going to go ahead and say X turn is true. That's kind of the standard. So when you start the game, it's X turn. We'll make a method called public boolean uh, is X turn. And I will return X turn. I'll make another method that's that toggles the turn, so that's void. 
So I'll say change turn. Change turns, and I'll say x turn not equals x turn. So that will just simply, whatever x turn is, making it not that, we'll switch it from true to false or false to true. And we'll go to board piece. Oh, I'm having a little bit of an issue here. Uh, okay, so I'll just say uh, x turn equals not x turn. Sorry, I had the no, I had not equals. I had it in the wrong spot there. Um, let's go now to, uh, let's add a couple of different pieces right here. Uh, the board, uh, let's add a couple more actors. So we'll say uh, a new class, and, and this one's going to be called um, an X. And that was called, like, in my images, I think, uh, X tick. And, okay, and we'll make a... We'll make an O. These are terrible names, but again, this is just for demonstration. So I've got, there's the O tick. All right. All right. So uh, in the board piece class, when someone clicks on it, so we're going to set, do you remember how to do that? It's each board piece is going to ask if green foot dot um, is it is clicked? So let's find out. Hold on. Greenfoot class documentation. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Mouse clicked. Mouse clicked is what it's called. So Greenfoot mouse clicked this. Then what I want to do is I want to get the, a copy of the world. So I say um, tick tack toe game equals get world of type um, tick tack toe dot class. So I'm telling Greenfoot to return not just the general world, but the world of the type class that I want tick tack toe dot class. Now that I've done that, I can say if game dot get is or I think it's just is x turn because that's the method that's the method that belongs to the tic tac toe game so I have to call it on instance of tic tac toe then I will put um, I will add to the world game dot add object a new x at get this board pieces X and Y. Okay, uh, and then I will change turns. Else game dot add object new o get at this get x get y game dot change turns all right I got a couple of different issues here missing a parenthesis and missing a parenthesis all right so that's going to add the x's and o's for us let's just go ahead and check that and you can see that that works pretty fine. Okay, so now the, the, the moment we've all been waiting for, how will I check for a win? So let's go over how to check for a win. So I'm going to do that in the tic-tac-toe class. And in fact, I'm going to do that every single turn. Uh, remember that the world's act method is called before any of the other uh, actors act method. So public void act. I'm going to go ahead and do that and it'll be called for me. And I'm going to check. Now... In order for there to be a win, 
Um, I need to have three. Uh, I need to have three in a row of type X. So I'm going to check and see if there's an X win three in a row um, across, uh, three in a row up, and, and three in a row down. So uh, and then diagonal. So I'll say. Uh, I'm going to loop through the whole thing, actually. So the, I would not normally loop through the whole thing, but uh, I feel like this is what you'll have to do when working on games like Connect 4. So uh, I want to practice doing that. So I'm going to loop through the whole thing, even if it is a little redundant, since tic-tac-toe is so small. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to x comma y is going to be somewhere. So let's just imagine x comma y is in this top location because it'll be each one of them. And I'm going to check to the right one, two spaces and itself and see if it's an x. Okay, so this is me checking for an x. Check for x win. So I'll say, um, I'm going to say uh, if... Get objects at x comma y comma x of type x dot class. Now this is a list. Get objects at returns a list. Well, what I want to know is what's the size of the list at x comma y. Well, so I'll just call dot size. That's the size of the list. Well, if that size is equal to one or just specifically bigger than zero. And get objects at, let's check the next one, one to the right, right? One to the right. Again, that's the list of all the objects, one to the right of my xy position. If that's bigger than zero, if it's bigger than zero, that means that there is an x there, right? And then I'll say get objects at x plus 2 y of x dot class dot size is greater than zero. Well, if all that is true, then I know that x wins. So I'm going to say green foot dot stop. Now, in most x, most of the time you should do something. I don't know, big balloons everywhere that says x wins or something like that. Um, and we could even print to the console to tell you the truth. So we, I'll just do that. Now, you know, you should not normally do this, but we'll do that just because we're testing. So Maybe you should print to an info column, but I'll say system that print line x wins. Okay. Now um, that's just one case. Oh, you know I'm missing a bunch of parentheses. There we go. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I need parentheses for this this here. Well, no, I don't. I shouldn't need that. Hold on, I got some parentheses issues here. So get objects at x y x dot class. Oh, why do I have that on class? I'm sorry. There we go. Get objects at x y x dot class dot size greater than zero. X plus one y x dot class greater than zero. All right, I don't know why I was putting parentheses on class. I guess I'm just so used to putting parentheses at the right dot something, but that's one time you don't. All right, okay. Now, that's just one of them. I got to do the next one as well. So um, we, could say, we could say else if. Um, it, it doesn't really particularly matter here because we're stopping the program anyway, but I'll say if. Um, and, okay, basically, I mean, I know I tell you not to do this, but I'm going to copy and paste. I'm checking down now. So I want all the X's to stay the same, but the Y's will change. All right. Um, so if all that happens, then I'll say uh, system.out.println X wins. And I'll stop the game. All right, um, lastly, I got one more. 
Um, I'm going to check, uh, actually I got two more, so I got to check in both diagonal directions. So diagonal down is x plus, ooh, hold on. This needs to be a plus two on the y. So, um, and that needs to be just a y. All right, x, y, x, y plus one, x, y plus two. That would be down. Now I need to do x and y. x plus one, y plus one. x plus two, y plus two. That is going down and to the right. So if all that happens, then we're going to call it a win. All right, got one more I got to do. Because that's going diagonal to down and to the right. We got to do diagonal uh, up and to the right. And because of the loop, it will check it in, in both directions for us because it looped the way it loops. So that would be the X is going to the right, but the Y is going up, which is actually a minus. Okay. So um, that right there is going to check for X when next thing you got to do is do that for you got to check for O. So I'll just take this whole thing here after I've done all that garbage and I'm going to check for an O win. And it seems like it's a lot of steps, but remember the computer is able to do that super quickly, all right? And now all I got to do is change all of these X's to O's. And you could probably do like a specialized find and replace, but I'm not going to, you know, for just one region, but I'm not going to do that. All right, compiles, it runs. X wins, and the game stops. So uh, we'll restart and hit play. Uh, we'll check, uh, let's check for a diagonal. O wins. Reset, um, let's see here. I'll check vertical here. X wins, okay. So that's just my brief little video about how to use get objects at. Uh, remember, it returns a list, and if that list is greater than zero, that means there was an object at that x y location. I checked each one of them in a loop, starting in the upper left hand corner. I checked to the right three, down three, and cornered four, and corner four. It's exactly what you need to do with connect four, but you need to do it four spaces instead of three. Good luck.